Hello and welcome to Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. This week's beer is a challenge. It's, uh, we're talking about Wotan. You know Wotan, he, he's the northern god. He's the father of all gods in the northern mythology. And uh, you see him in Richard Wagner's operas from Rheingold to Siegfried. You don't see him in the Götterdämmerung. And um, here this label uh, not only shows the old writing of the name Wotan, it also shows uh, two knights, two gods fighting, and one seems to have the coat of arms of Munich, and he sort of loses this fight because uh, normally these double bock beers, which this one is a typical example of, come from Munich. Not so this one. This one comes from Freiburg on uh, the western side of the Black Forest. And if you look at the beer, it has a typical, well, nut brown color, a brownish head, and a very intense aroma maybe of uh, dates, maybe of figs, very, very Christmas-like. The beer is it's very tempting because it's it's not sweet. It doesn't show how much alcohol it has. I mean, we're talking about uh, 7.5 ABV, but if you drink it, it, it's just an easy drinking beer. It has a good body, has um, this nice um, fruitiness, uh, just just a hint of caramel without being sweet. And, um, and not too much bitterness. So that's an ideal beer to pair with dark meat, but also with, with some desserts. Uh, mock beers and double bock beers uh, are very good to pair with desserts. And it's a rich beer, but you don't, don't get all the, 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 the strength of it. So. Um, one thing that I notice about these beers, and especially that one that's uh, is brewed according to a recipe of 1898. Uh, so these beers, they are traditional, but they, they fit very well into the new craft beer scene. I think the, this Vodan beer is a good example of a traditional craft beer because that has been crafted uh, in Germany uh, more than 100 years ago brewed more or less to the same recipe all the time. And it's a beer where, as I said, it's strong in alcohol, so it's a beer you don't drink too much of. But if you want to have this beer for, for in the tasting or in the food pairing, that's exactly what you can do with German beers. So this is one of the beers that uh, might be typical for what we see now in the German craft beer scene. Not all the craft beers have to be ales. Not all the craft beers have to be IPAs. This one is a good example uh, that the craft beer existed in Germany long before it existed in the US. So uh, well, I hope you can get hold of one of these bottles. Enjoy it and, um, and uh, cheers to, to you and to German craft beer. Ah, 1898, unbelievable.